everybody, welcome back to the episode of Lies. It's a how to today we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, boom, we got a brand new thing posted earlier by Kafia. This was posted over on their socials, over on the Discord, and ooh, shiny. And she got a little bit of a chopper, but we could go ahead and head on over to. So we might go ahead and start doing that over in the background. But in the foreground, what you guys are seeing is actually a little gif that was posted by Kafir with the caption, Noisy neighbors live next door. Do not disturb. And well, what we're seeing, given the early looks at the motel, we have already went ahead and taken a peek into. This is quite obviously the motel that we are looking at. And Kafir is beginning their official teasing of the motel with our very first kind of like live look at it. And so far, every look that we have. I've had is there's been like kind of like a static image you know what i mean like we haven't actually had to uh we haven't seen any like zombies moving around it's all just been like screenshots of the relative area whereas here we do actually have a gift showcasing the insides of one of those motel rooms we know to exist and actually something kind of interesting in the form that uh, there's like some kind of blockade i don't know if that's like the main doorway in or maybe the bathroom but it appears like there's this new mechanic where like zombies can somehow stick their hands through barricades and low-key i wonder if like there might be a mechanic coming that the motel might introduce because we've seen a lot of these new locations introduce new mechanics the farm introducing the box that you have to bring it to the saw uh, over at the end of the farm to go ahead and open on up not to mention things like bulls things like the ravager with its like interesting gameplay mechanics and how it destroys your armor the barn door opening at a random chance so like new locations are pretty dope areas to go ahead and check out new uh new mechanics the police station having the uh, wave system that it did introduce on top of that along with like the new terminals that give like police station boxes so it wouldn't be out of the question if anything is kind of expected for the motel to introduce something new and i think that's kind of like the point of this gift to kind of tease that a little bit because we've already been seeing looks at the motel so i mean the insides of one room isn't nothing too breathtaking too groundbreaking but having like these zombies be able to like enter a state where they're maybe like being able to break down a barricade because that's obviously some kind of a barricade there's obviously zombie arms sticking through it so i wonder if this might be where zombies gain the ability to potentially break down possible barriers you know what i'm talking about because i i don't know man i feel like we might be able to kill those zombies but maybe if like enough zombies stockpile up or if enough zombies are like going against and attacking and trying to reach through that barricade i wonder if that barricade might actually fall and personally i think that's the whole point of this gif and that teaser but uh feel free to let me know what you guys think regarding that i think that that would make a lot of sense and or maybe just kind of like this interesting game mechanic to show that like maybe if you get too close to that maybe like zombies can harm you through uh through the barricade or like through the walls or something that's that's kind of like the main takeaways to have from this because it's literally the only part that is moving in this entire image but i also have something actually a lot of you guys were pointing out and i want to go ahead and go over boom what you guys are seeing right here is actually uh the pickup truck or whatever right over in the front of the motel continuing on with that motel theme and again the reason that like we're seeing a lot of blockades a lot of barricades on these doorways is just kind of like reiterate the point over with the first one that we saw where there are a lot of blockades on these doorways Doorways and just makes me wonder that like if there are enough zombies gathering at a doorway if they might be able to break them down because it appears that some of those blockaded doorways the only way to get into that room entirely and some of those rooms literally have zombies inside is to get through that doorway to get through that blockade so having like zombies be able to break them down maybe us be able to break them down in some way it does make some logical sense but something that you guys were pointing out is actually those canisters that we are seeing by the pickup truck now given the relative size of them and given some sneak peeks and teasers we seen of last day on earth so far so if you guys go out and take a look at this what you guys are seeing is actually a official teaser that is used over on uh kafir's website not their website but on over on the app store's landing page on ios on android what you guys are seeing is actually a look into something that looks very much so like those canisters that we are seeing over on the pickup truck what we are seeing is the flamethrower the flamethrower being teased before actually a super hype thing i was looking forward to it a ton kafir actually wanted to come out quite a while back but ultimately they ended up saying that it was canceled due to performance delays this was months and months back but as we know just because something happens in the past we have seen things that were supposedly to be scrapped actually come back in full force over in last day on earth before so it's not out of the question for the flamethrower to come back especially because the main reason that it was not able to come in the first place 
place was due to those performance things due to the performance issues that it was having and that is something that can definitely be optimized especially as more and more time is given and this could definitely be a project that some developers were working on over from the kafir team and i'm just saying dude go ahead look at those canisters and tell me that those are not eerily similar to the ones that we are seeing on the truck and i am seeing what appears to be a little bit of a potential flamethrower connection between these areas potentially we'll be able to pick those up maybe toss them on the back of our motorcycle and bring them back home and utilize them in some sort of flamethrower crafting recipe or maneuver because uh, that would be freaking dope the flamethrower man it, it was definitely conceptualized they actually went through they did some modeling on it and stuff but that one thing that kept it from coming was performance issues and they've had a lot of times since they've said that they didn't uh they've been having those performance issues and that they weren't able to get it into the game yet so it's very within the realm of possibility for it to be making its return now that more time has passed some optimization has been done and we are seeing those canisters that match up perfectly with what a flamethrower would need but go ahead and let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below regarding my thoughts regarding regarding your guys's own original thoughts maybe what you guys think regarding those canisters what you think regarding the arms is sticking out from those barricades i'd absolutely love to hear in that comment section down below and a reminder that a comment is going to put your turn of the way into the way you turn on dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do is always make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that lets you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth the video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and sats we'll be able to for a week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with every single last day on earth video y'all can go ahead and enter on in for the giveaway not to mention it's a great way to stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest of last day on earth information that we are always sharing the latest update gameplay because as soon as those updates come out you guys know that we are going to be all over them because new updates are dope and with what we are seeing here the motel continues getting closer and closer the motel of course it is pretty much pretty much confirmed to be coming like within the first half of october since the second half of october is going to house the halloween and dia de los muertos events which obviously they're not good i don't think they're gonna be coming out at the same time as the motel the motel literally on the roadmap that they released just last week which is pretty up to date like that's that's the roadmap from a week ago the motel is coming before the Halloween events, the Halloween events slated for mid to late October, meaning that the motel most likely will be needing at least updates tend to have like minimum one week in between them, which means that we are getting right around that time where the motel updates should be coming out. And if that's the case, you know, we're going to be all over that puppy as soon as it does officially come out. You guys done fighting zombies? Nope. We got one last wave. Let's go ahead and let them go ham. Go to work over here, especially because whoa, they're doing my bidding. Little baseball bat boy over here because uh well there's actually this interesting thing over at the chopper event where if you get close enough to the zombies the zombies will aggro just you they will not try fighting any of these guys so you can pretty much just finesse these dudes into doing your bidding and taking out these schmucks so unfortunately that means that these guys aren't dying though which can be a little bit problematic for us because you're like star oh they're fighting the zombies why don't you just uh loot up the choppers or whatever well the reason for that is because if they survive then i gotta go and kill them whereas uh, if they die at the horde then the horde kills them makes my life easier and then we could usually i mean the horde's pretty slow we can outrun it we can kite it around a little bit and we can collect all the dead bodies without taking any damage from these survivors making our life easy to the peasy now i'm waiting to see if maybe one more wave comes in if not we might just need to mow these dudes down all righty then hello and goodbye survivors because i'm not really worried about oh no we got one baseball bat hit off on us nope not at all concerned about that but yeah it's a great way that notification bell that i was just speaking of to go ahead and stay up to date with all that info all the update gameplay because as soon as that update comes out we're gonna be all over it. we're gonna be doing everything that we possibly can with it it's showing off what it has hopefully making sure you guys are as prepared as can be yourselves for when you decide to go ahead and head on over not to mention it's a great way to stay up to date with every single last down earth video y'all can enter it on foe that woo like what i'm seeing there Woo! even better today is a very nice day when it comes to that little thing known as loot oh uh, wasn't there like another guy over here we could loot somewhere oh there he is he died right in the middle this guy died pretty early on 
Feels bad, dude. Feels bad, but let's go ahead and make our way back home. We got some base repairs we gotta make. But yeah, it's a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on full that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games that are going up on the channel. We're currently, dude, we have the privilege of being one of the very first people to play Fallout 76. Honestly, one of the most anticipated, if not the most anticipated and potentially biggest survival game. Definitely of this year. Maybe even of all time, because it's the first time we are seeing a survival game have like a AAA budget being made by a huge developer like the developers of fallout the developers of the elder scrolls skyrim so it's crazy to see whole ton of fun hopefully you guys are checking out that series not to mention a whole bunch of other dope survival games coming out seven days to die the brand new alpha coming out for that what do we have what else do we got walking dead game expect to see some of that a brand new co-op walking dead zombie game that has to come out this week we are going to be checking out hopefully this week i will have some videos for y'all trying to get a nice little group to go ahead and jump into some of those shenanigans so all in all that should be a ton of fun i hope you guys are prepared for that so yeah that notification bell it just got so many pluses might as well go and hit that puppy but okie dokie here's what we gotta do get y'all the bunker code for today 54529 is gonna be today's code if that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in make sure to check that comment section down below forward up today version brought to you about a favorite fantastic creator here at the stipe gang as you guys can see though we are a little bit c4 list today this is not a good thing this is actually a little bit sad ending because uh well we are gonna still go on a raid but we really gotta hope that today like for once we're hoping that this is a raid without any stone walls now i'm not saying we're hoping it's a bad raid if anything dude we've had multiple pure wooden raids that have actually been really good like suspiciously good even may i say so it's not like it's necessarily like oh well, i hope you get a trash raid no it's very much so within the realm of possibility for us to get something good something juicy but so we just so happened to be c 4 list. i was not able to get any before this video started unfortunately today's been a crazy busy day tons of homework to work on actually as soon as this video is done i got even more i got to sprint over to the library and work on my group i mean work with my group on the homework i'm not working on my group with the homework that's backwards so that is gonna be happening so i do apologize about that we're still gonna be hoping for the best and hoping that we can dive into something dope like that but no worries i will ensure that we have some c4 ready and rearing to go in tomorrow's episode hello wolfie hello fast biter all these dudes that we are taking out by the way are perfect because we do have a multitude of quests for the survival guide actually you can see 10 zombies in the limestone cliffs i'm doing that actually we should be seeing timmy the blue over in these cliffs as well just to go and keep racking up these points the 30 zombies in a mountain area we're going to be chipping away at that uh, we might want to make a pit stop over to the pine wood we're definitely making a pit stop to the spires because that is also where we can find 52 mics so today's kind of a mountainous type of day but we should be profiteering some pretty good stuff from it unfortunately part of that profit will not be c4 we've already gotten the 2c4 that the survival guide does offer and while it was a glorious 2c4 well, there's no more from which to pick, which is a little bit unfortunate. Thank you for the beans, though. Appreciate that, it's on. Just god dang it, beer. beer. Nah, god dang it, dear. I didn't want to kill you. Why'd you have to run into the way? I was going to let you live. We could have been all Gucci, but I had to waste two entire bullets on your booty. Do you think I like wasting two bullets on any booty? Unless that booty's trying to kill me. Then no, no, no. I want those bullets to stay in my gun. So we're ready for when something is trying to kill us. And we got to go and take it down. What a Roman zombie. A double task completado. Let's go ahead and continue looting these things. Because you never know when we might get a little bit lucky. Get something. Although I think that's mainly restricted to red zones finding the C4. At least that's where I've had luck finding C4. Is in the red zones out of these. But, uh... Okay, so we're already up one, 60 points away from the next level up. These last couple levels are kind of going to get pretty grindy because we do need more points, but I definitely want to have the survival guide finished, and I, I think it's very possible. So we're going to try to make that magic happen. We, we really are. Hopefully, we could come across a Timmer. Is this Timmer? What up, Timmer? How you doing, dude? Okay, hold on. He's sending a toxic spitter after me first. Dude, Timmy's got some. He's got some legs under him, man. That man is hauling. There we go. Took him out. And we want to go ahead and equip something a little bit nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Trying to get a little bit of separation from that. And, hey, let's go ahead and take this schmuck down. 
We gotta be careful, though. I think at a certain point he will start blowing up like the exploder that he does act like, and he even births parasites, which is horrifying, so just try to go ahead and steer clear from that dude, and we'll go ahead and take out the two parasites he throws our way, and the poopy loot he drops. Dude, I really wish some of those little bosses, the mini bosses, like Timmy, like uh, 52 Mike, who we're about to chase, I wish that they actually dropped something, you know? Something like kind of notable, something special. Even if it was like some kind of like little trophy or something, I don't know, man. Having them drop something like special, I don't know, it, it, it'd be kind of cool. But we are done doing our bidding in here. Now we move on to the red location, to the red mountainous area before ultimately moving on to that raid. And later this week, hopefully, at least that's what I'm banking off of. Ooh, we got, uh, mm, mm, I'll make a pit stop towards that. How long is that lasting for? An hour. We could just do that after the raid, if anything. Let's make our way to the limestone spires for sure. But yeah, I mean, given the way that they're teasing all of these motel updates right now, obviously they have to come before the Halloween time period, which is pretty much last year's Halloween started right around mid-October. So I'm guessing that's going to be a similar time period. This week just makes a lot of sense. So that's what I'm banking off of. That's what I'm thinking it'll be. And uh, I'm going to be more than ready to dive into that motel head first with all the equipment necessary. We're gonna be doing everything we can. She's showing it off to the fullest extent. And I have a fan for fantastic time because I love enjoying some new updates. But all right, Toxic Abomination. I got some bullets for you. And this is actually kind of, whoop, 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 whoop. You ain't get what? How did he get me, dude? I definitely just juked out of that zone. Are you kidding me? You telling me that this schmuck right here managed to catch up to me? No, no, no. No, no, no. I was outside of that circle by the time the bodies hit the flow. Get out of here, Toxic Spinner. I do not want to be hit by you and your amazing nose. Jeez. Okay, that's just a wolf this time. Oh my god, starvation. Picking up that rock ain't gonna solve your starvation problem, sir. I don't know why you had that instinct to do that. Jesus, you schmuck. Uh, I, I guess I'll leave it in there for now, but goodbye to those tin cans and let's head back to looting this before another toxic spitter runs at us from like the freaking pine forest like half a mile away. They're miles away at this point, man. I don't know what it is. Those guys, they, they just know how to smell you, dude. They, I can smell you. No, well, I can't smell you, so please stay away and stop smelling me. I don't like it. What? Is, who's, this, who's this schmuck? Where's this abomination coming from? You're telling me you've evolved that toxic nose? Dude, something about being toxic just makes them have the greatest nose ever. Because these guys will chase after us from out of the middle of nowhere, dude. They won't even be on our radar. Next thing you know, they're ready to hunt us down. All right, so they're, they're, they're kind of savage like that. We gotta be a little bit careful, but hey, you know, we can uh, spare a little bit of that carefulness when we got Pistol Drizzle ready to help out and take these schmucks down, which was always a very, very great thing. Uh, let's go ahead and move that over there. We got a little bit of that we want to go through. We got that pistol right there, and we still got 52 mic that we got to go ahead and find. Is this 52? Nah, that's just a floater bloater. Well, luckily, I got plenty of bullets to take you down to your schmuck and a very nice pistol. May I add over here, dude? I'm so, I'm so hyped that we found this thing. That's just such a nice little present. I love chopper events. Where'd you come from? What? Of course, dude. I'm, I'm looking in my inventory. Nothing on my radar when I click the inventory. And that is when he decides to strike. I swear, dude, some of these wolves, they just know. They know when to strike. It's evil. It's dastardly. And I don't appreciate it, man. At least have some honor. Run at me when I'm like, you know, I can actually see you on the map or something. I'd appreciate that. Jesus, Toxic Spitter. You guys really want me bad. I swear those dudes. Oh, my God. See what I'm talking about? They just, oh, my. Okay, at least that one was a rabid wolf. But still... They do not give up. Y'all gotta chillax a little bit. Let me get some loot here. Find good old 52 and uh, see what he wants to do. Because I'm surprised we have not found him yet, honestly. We've gone through like a solid amount. Jesus. Dude, these toxic spitters, seriously. I, I, I just hate, no, I just hate like thinking like, oh, we're good. I know, I know part of it is me. Part of it is hello, disease wolf. A big part of it is the fact that we smell bad. But hey. That's our icon, dude. That's our brand. Nothing more iconic than a smelly star. How can I have a shower, man? It's just not in my blood. It ain't. I'm, I'm so sorry to say. What was that noise? Did anyone just hear that? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I think we found 52 Mike over here. The random... Oh, my God. Get out of here, turkey. Oh, a civilian died in the battle. That's not good. Well, there's good old 52. Hold on really quickly. I'm going to go and kill. Oh, it's a raider. Get out of here, raider. What do you have? A pipe? Did you really just try attacking me when all you had was a lead pipe? 
That was not the best survivor, let me just say. But what up, 52? This, I, it, this is just a ride zombie, dude. I don't think he does anything special at all. So he should die pretty quickly. And that's even more points going our way. Looky, looky. Up to 53 we go. And already so close to 54 right on top of it. Uh, so the next quest we're probably going to be knocking out is going to that airdrop. That should be pretty easy. Oh, that is a limited one. And I want to be able... I want to uh, knock out all the normal ones, too. We're getting pretty close. I actually think that, yeah, dang, dude. So we literally have all of the normal tasks completed, except for 10 zombies in the pine woods, a generator, and then after that, straight up limited time events. We are so close to completely finishing the survival guide. Hopefully there are enough limited time quests out there for us to go ahead and actually, you know, be able to complete the rest of these. But worst case, I, I don't mind dropping some coinage if, uh, you know, we're very close, but we don't quite have enough quests to get the job done. Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pick you up a turkey. You ain't going, okay. You may have been caught in the crossfire, which I apologize for sincerely, but no worries. You ain't going to waste. I'm making sure that you're gonna be useful. You're gonna feed my dogs and make sure that Lexi can come along to play as we head on out upon today's raid. So I'm gonna go ahead on home, put all the stuff away that we have come across and we got a little bit of a raid that we gotta hopefully head over to without too much c4 involved start crossing your fingers now mate i'm really hoping for the best and we didn't have a revenge raid yet either dude what if we just come home I and mean, we've been raided in that short span of time right in between us being gone i've had that happen before dude i'm not even gonna lie sometimes raids are savage like that but today is not gonna be a savage patch kid type of day so i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and talk to y'all and it's time to go ahead and take a peek at our inventory and i'd say we're looking pretty good for the shenanigans of today did we kill enough toxic abominations Ooh, we only took out two we were at 215 when we started we really only took out two well hot dog so be it all right we are good old, we are going out on this raid regardless and here's the thing worst case scenario even if we can't necessarily dive head first into this raid at the very least we should be able to log off at the raid and the timer won't go down and i will make sure that tomorrow we will have enough c4 to make this raid happen if we aren't allowed to make it happen today let's go ahead and make sure that we can make our puppies rather happy and as you guys are seeing from my inventory i got a couple other things i want to make sure to do like the zombie horde they decided to pay us a visit they decided to totally wipe out this corner of our honeycomb base so we just got to make the necessary repairs right there so as to not put ourselves in risk since that can get a little bit risque let's go ahead and make sure that we are patching this place up because also i mean just having more like level one not level one but just yeah just having more walls in general it's just good because like it gets the ai to like break into them which i mean oh let's make sure that we didn't accidentally use too many and okay we accidentally did but that's all good i think we should still have more than enough hatchets uh definitely blew through three more than i wanted to i always forget dude i was forget that we don't just keep going through a stack that goes through our entire two stacks that we had that time but at the very least we got a perfect amount here to get these level one hatchets up and at them and we're gonna go ahead and see what type of damage we could cause given uh what we got today let's just make sure that we modify these guns and ensure that they are in proper rating form tip of top shape I think this one, oh yeah, dude, that's the nice thing. We just got to go ahead and upgrade the shutter right there. But other than that, this one came fully modded and it's a relatively nice fully modded one too. This other one though is being modified from scratch, which is going to be a little bit of a different story. And the VSS is also looking to be in tip top shape. No need to worry about that. So taking a peek at our inventory. We just got five stone that we got to put away over here for our next hatchetry that we go ahead and craft on up. And we got a whole ton of inventory room that I want to go ahead and get to raiding into. So I'm crossing my fingers. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Please show me something good at the Pipo SXZ. Pipo, Pipo, whatever you want to be called. Listen. The only thing I want to call you is the base that has some wooden walls. So if you could please have some wooden walls, I, I'd appreciate that a ton. I'm sure everyone would. It'd be very nice, but I I know that there's a chance that it might not be, dude. Watch. The game was given a straight up wooden rate. Yep. Wow. This is the opposite of a base that we can raid with wood. It's just got Roman zombies chilling around, too. Nothing over there. Jeez. Okie dokie. So... Uh, C4 is definitely necessary, unless we maybe find some weird little back doorway here, but 
by the looks of it, this man has all sides of his base covered. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Oh. No, no, no. You know what that is? Okay, so it's a good thing that we didn't break through that. You gotta be very careful. If you ever see this and you're like, oh, false hope. No, no, no. You gotta be careful. You gotta step away a little bit. And as you guys can see, it transforms into the dynamite. What this is, is actually just like a workbench or something on the other side that we can break into. But that's bad because if we cause noise, we can't actually travel away from here. So that could have actually screwed us over a little bit. And uh, it does appear that there is going to be no wooden entry into this. So this is a raid we're going to have to go ahead and complete tomorrow. Unfortunately, I know, I know, guys, I tried my best to go and get some C4. But the C4 gods were not in our favor today. Maybe blowing through all C4 on yesterday's raid, on yesterday's base, may not have been the brightest of ideas in the world. But we do, at the very least, have a couple of other things we could go ahead and get knocked out. We got an airdrop. We've got a couple other quests. So if we can't be productive and knock out the raid at the very least here all right let's uh let's go and make some magic happen for the survival guide for a hopeful complete completion of it and uh, of course getting some dope loot along the way i'm gonna go ahead I, I don't know if i'll save the vss for later but we could definitely go through some of these where we just gotta kill stuff because it's, it's not too bad get out of your toxic spitter jeez you guys hunt me down from a bajillion miles away they seriously run out of left field man they're just totally unexpected uh, let's see what we got over here in airdrop. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. I will take that and put it in my belly. Hopefully, we'll get some C4 out of one of these airdrops or some red zone soon so we can go ahead and be putting that dude's loot into our belly. I'm going to make sure to go ahead and do a little bit more research on his base on top of it since, I mean, that's that's the problem with this new update that came out. It's great. We have a lot of updated bases, a lot of updated loot, but a lot of the information we have on these bases is totally outdated because, uh, well, they updated the system and a lot of bases were based in like the last kind of like update, like the last, la la last database update. So 1.9.8, when that came out, they actually updated the databases to uh, everyone's bases to be a little bit more current compared to like what they were in the past. Because like these bases, they're not like constantly updated to be exactly how they are, like how, exactly how people's bases at this very moment. No, no, no. It's more up to date than it was in 1.9.7. And 1.9.7 was the same as 1.9.6. So sometimes, like, some updates, they end up, like, actually updating stuff. Sometimes it's 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 kind of hard to explain. But long story short, this update did bring an update to the bases, which means that a lot of the info we have is outdated. So if you guys are trying to research these bases, make sure that you do it off of uh, more current information. All right, if you're looking at older videos or something like that of these bases, it's good chance it's out of date and you might be led astray might be led to something that you don't want to get into or maybe some chest or some loot that isn't where you thought it was you know what i mean so definitely just a little thing you want to go ahead and be careful of and i want to go ahead and make some ruckus make some noise five float of bloaters of toxic abominations in any pine forest what is that 10 zombies in the pine woods so uh, all right real quick real quickly lickety splickety that's a one that's a two we're going to quit on a quick old murder spree then hopefully we'll go and kill some abominations and fluta blotas over in the red zone but luckily we're making some magic happen pretty easily over here so we ain't got too much to worry about because these dudes is dropping like flies and i need to urinate rather badly but uh, we'll go ahead and spread some vitamin p soon no worries about that. I'm just looking for these zombies because we can't be killing wolves. And I'm waiting to hear that magical, that mystical little noise. The ding! Letting us know that the fries are done. <laughs> no, letting us know that the quest is completado. And I have yet to hear it. Unless it corresponded exactly with, like, one of our bullets. Which may have happened. Uh, kill ten zombies in the pine woods. Oh, it's because we're in the pine grove. I don't know. I, I always think that the pine woods is, uh... For some reason, because like each like tier, green, yellow, and red, has a different uh, level or something. I guess I'd think of the pine woods as like being the high or being the lowest when really it's the highest. I don't know. I feel like the pine forest would be higher than the pine woods. You know? Maybe that's just like my little brain being like herpa derp. And that's totally my little brain being like herpa derp. But no worries, people. I'll be coming back and I'll be coming with an arsenal of C4. I'll do everything in my power to make sure. That we take you down, unless tomorrow is the motel update, in which case, mm, I don't know, man. That's gonna, that's gonna be a tempting detour. 
from our quest but i'm definitely gonna do some research into that base hopefully there's some information out there so we could go ahead and uh, reap the benefits of what is looking like a pretty promising base although at the same time it could just be a base where you know it takes a lot of c4 for diminishing returns I'm, I'm looking to it. I'm gonna try to make some magic happen. But for now, taking all these schmucks out is plenty of magic for me. Although, where are the abominations? Where are the bloaters, dude? I've yet to run into a single one. There you are. Hello. How do you do, Flora Bloater? You doing dead? I'll oh, get out of your rabbit wolf. Trying to sidetrack me from my quest to murder all these dudes. Uh, toxic abomination. How do you do? Besides very dead. Oh, nothing. All you're doing is very dead. I'm sorry to say. It's pretty hard to be doing anything else when you're doing dead. You know what I mean? It's kind of a... It's an occupation that takes up uh, all of your time. Can't really reallocate any time to anything else. Uh, but we got two taken down. We're taking down zombies. I mean, zombies, I'm not even going to count that. I think we should just have that pretty much just from doing stuff can we get some bigger boy hey there we go task completed like i was saying we got big guy number three. Oh, no sumo wrestle for you hey we got a toxic abomination trying to hunt us down oh we got some punches being thrown that's not how i want to take whoop, whoop, whoop. you out pup you want to go and finish him off really quickly one more damage i believe in you goodbye oh no you know i just realized Blech. That might not have counted as our kill. I don't think dog kills count as our kills. As weird as that sounds, I think that's actually how it works. Also, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kill you really quickly. I'm going to use this axe to slice your booty in a half. Yeah, though. I think we may... Uh, God dang it. We're only at three. Yeah. So, warning to you guys. As weird as it is, Kafir, if you guys are watching this, maybe you should patch that up. Because I feel like if someone's dog kills something, that should probably count as them killing something. Is that just me? Is that the crazy gene talking? I feel like that's not too crazy. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Jesus, so many of you people out here coming out to play. I'm gonna go ahead and do some damage to you. Hopefully my dog can go ahead and finish the job on one, finish the job on two, and then we're gonna have a toxic abomination over here. Hopefully there's one more over in that bottom corner we could do something about. Let's slice and dice your face into the Mile High Club. See you later to that. And let's hope that there's one more big dude. Await in the red zone and boom. Hold on, we got out. Dang it, dude. We barely ran into the range of the floater bloater. I wanted to go. I wanted to wait. I wanted to let this toxic spitter do his thing. Let's run away from that and see ya. Wouldn't want to be a that's another task completed. But with that said and with that done and with all that task completion under our belts and with a little bit of a C4. Oh, got to urinate. All right, let me just do that with a little bit of a C4 hunt in my future that I got to make sure to go ahead and knock out so we are prepared for tomorrow's rain. I do need to go ahead and start calling it a day there because like I said, I need to sprint over to the library and get to work. But no worries. Plenty of great things. We got a dope raid lined up for us. Potentially making tomorrow a double raid depending on how much C4 and how much revenge we might be able to concoct up not to mention that motel update that we are going to be all over as soon as it comes out checking out everything that it has to offer including hopefully some new items and like i'm saying feel free to chime in on that flamethrower that is having some very interesting motel like connections going on but with that said with that done that's going to wrap it up for me for now best of luck to you guys and gals get the chopper gas they can join the chopper squadron best of luck breeding your pup get the true friend perk leveling up your own perks and skills not to mention find the best blueprints that you can for the best weapons that you got and building up the best possible attachments best of luck building up your base going out of the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you get it past the multiplayer wall that are most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fabric fantastic time all through out. But it's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hub, so it's an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See it.